Hi guys, welcome to the channel once again. In this video, I'm going to talk about very a uh, big technical issue if you are facing with the GoDaddy.com domain or with the cPanel. So this issue is about the future home of something quite cool. If you are the site owner, log in to launch this site. If you're a visitor, check back soon. So this issue is uh, really uh, had been a nightmare for me because I've been trying for the last two days to fix this and it's not working. And now I figured out the way to bypass this. So if you're facing the same problem, well, let me show you what is the actual issue is. So this is the website. This is another website that I run. And uh, if I click over the refresh button or in any mini if I try to access this website, it is showing that future home of something is quite cool. It is missing. But if I open it with normal protocol, like with HTTP, the site is working fine. There's no issue with that. So how this issue arises to me? So I was actually trying to get SSL certificate for free using Cloudflare DNS. And I think that was the part where I messed up something with the issue of the SSL certificate and that's all. So first, uh, log into your Cloudflare DNS. I'm assuming you guys had some uh, trouble with this too. So log into the dashboard of the Cloudflare DNS and you need to delete your website. But before that, you just need to turn off some permission, which is within the crypto tab. So here we're gonna change this to, you can see it says universal SSL status active certificate, but by any mean it is not working. I don't know what is the issue, but it is not working. If it is, if I'm trying to opening it with the HTTPS protocol, it is not working. But if I open it with normal, HTTP the by default protocol it is opening so let's fix this so turn it off the first step turn off the SSL right here okay then now all you just need to turn off other permissions as well for example um I can't see the actual one so here one more uh, permission was supposed to be uh, like the always use HTTPS. If it is in your dashboard, make sure to turn it off. Then uh, we're going to overview this whole site and we're going to remove the website from the Cloudflare dashboard. Okay, so we are all done. We are done with the uh, dashboard of Cloudflare. And now if I click over refresh, it is not going to work fine. <laughs> the solution is not uh it's not a proper solution yet so what we need to do we need to make changes in our cpanel in our dns management and we need to apply another ssl service with this website so let's see how to get this done okay so i'm going to log into my dashboard here is the url This is the domain part, uh, sorry, the dashboard part of my domain. So click over the DNS or maybe if you have different service provider of your domain, log into the dashboard, go to the DNS and change it to the by default where it was supposed to be. So change the name server and I'm going to click it to over the default, save. And now the domain is set to by default NS29 and NS30. Now one more thing, um, we are done with this part. Now we again have to go back to the product tab and we need to make changes in the web host thing. I'm going to click over the web hosting part C panel and then I will log into the uh, file manager and SSL area where we need to make changes to make it live again. And one more thing, uh, type SSL for free. All the links in the are given in the description below. So you can just click over and you can get it to the proper page. Okay, so the C panel is live here and the SSL for free is here too. So I'm gonna close this one. Uh, no, I'll let it be here, okay. For in any case, if we need, we can do access so here you need to put down the website name click over 
click over create free SSL certificate. Click over manual verification. And there you go. Click over manual verify. So here we need to download these two files at first. I'm going to download first file. The second one. Here we have both of the files. I'm going to drag it to the desktop so it will be easier for me to access or locate. And uh, here is the token. I'm going to paste it to the desktop. Okay. So here we are done with the token part. Now we need to go to the file manager. Coming to the file manager. And here you need to turn on show hidden files. Make sure you turn it on otherwise you won't be able to create some folder or you won't be able to see any hidden folder which is given in your C panel. So click over save and then you will be able to see all the hidden files uh, beginning with the dot. Now coming to the point public underscore HTML here you need to create one folder named as dot well known. Okay. This is the first thing that you need to do. Click over the directory. Then you need to create one more folder named as Acme Challenge. You can copy the name of the folders right over from this page. I'm going to create. Here we are. So we created two folders. First one was dot well known and second one was Acme Challenge. So what it is going to do, it is going to verify the website with this SSL for free dot com to give it a token verification so you can move further with the SSL certificate. Okay. So uh, here we are done with the uh, directory process. We are just going to now upload both of the tokens we downloaded from the SSL for free. Okay. So now we are going to locate the files. The first one was named as B something I remember. Okay. This now second one was beginning with the uh, minus R2 here we is. Here it is. So both of the files are now uploaded to the server and uh, we need to click over these two URLs to make sure the token is uploaded properly in within this folder. And uh, let's verify. So it means if it shows you the same token, it means the file is uh, uploaded properly and all the everything with the process was just fine. So we are done with this part. Now coming down to the download SSL certificate, I'm going to click over this one and then you will get a zip file. It will generate SSL certificate for your website. Then you need to upload this certificate to your website. Here we have this file. So extract to the desktop or wherever you find a zip table, I'm going to create it with the name certificate. Okay. We don't need this uh, tab anymore. You can close this one. Um, this one as well. And we need to let's see once again, this site is not working until now. Okay. So now again, coming back to the C panel, all you just have to open the SSL or TLS section. Here we need to make changes within the private keys. Second one is with the certificate and third one is the SSL for your site. So first clicking over the uh, private keys and we need to upload the private key. Coming down to the section, click over choose file, locate the private key. It is within the folder certificate. So this is the private key. Click open, click upload. Done with the first process, go back, click back. Um, I think I'm as no, everything is fine. All we have to go back to the C panel. Okay. Going back to the product page. We are done with the first part, the private key and clicking over this web hosting manage page. Okay, so this is the address of cPanel. Let me copy so I don't have to go back again and again and again. Okay, so this one is the actual uh, cPanel URL. Okay, so 
we are done with the private key and now we need to install the certificate i mean we need to upload it first then we will generate the certificate uh here we need to click over choose file once again click over the certificate click open click upload certificate done going back to the cpanel come down again back to the ssl and tls click over manage manage ssl sites okay now we need to do one and last final thing click over the selector domain select this one click autofill by domain so if it goes fine it means everything is okay with your site now you can see the expiry date of your uh, ssl certificate it is uh, free and it is uh, going to give you support for the next uh, six months so it's a quite nice time you can do all the procedure once again coming back to this video and you can follow the same uh, just to apply the new fresh ssl certificate okay click over install certificate installing you can see ssl host successfully installed you have successfully configured ssl the ssl website is now active and accessible via https on this domain the domain name, name is article kaction.com okay so we are done so guys now you can refresh this page without any worry you can see the site will be live here we are so this was about how can you um fix future home is coming into a working website with this video so you can see it is working fine with the http protocol even with the https protocol you can see the certificate you can see the secure sign and you can verify the certificate validation that it is valid from 28 to 2009 from the date to the next six months so if the certificate expires you can come back to the site sslforfree.com and you can generate new one and you don't have to use the cloudflare dns once again because it had been a nightmare for me because i was trying to get support from godaddy.com watched several videos and everything but nothing worked out finally this method worked for me and i hope this is going to work for you guys as well if you still found any issues uh, with the video or with any procedure you can ask me down in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one if this video helps please leave a like and positive comment on the comment section so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one like share and subscribe bye bye